Welcome back guys. We are talking about different types of proteins very much important physiologically. And today we are going to talk about elastin proteins. So as the name suggests, elastin. So definitely something to do with elasticity of our skin as well as our muscles. That's what you are talking about. If you pull the skin on and again release it, the skin goes back to the normal integrity. And that's due to elastin. So thank elastin for that. Elastin is a huge I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a consistent of a huge number of elastin in our body. So, it's, it, it covers a lot more percentage of total protein count in our skin. So, it's a very major protein of our body. And this elastin is a kind of fibrous protein. It's a kind of rod-shaped proteins that helps maintaining the integrity of the cell, that helps in integrity of or helps maintaining the elasticity of the cell, right? So, that if you pull the cells, if you pull the skin or if you pull the, any tissue out there, skin, lungs, heart, because heart is pumping all the time. So, it helps it to retain or revert back to its no, or normal structure and shape. That's very, very important for this integrity to maintain. Otherwise, it's very bad. If you, if you someone pull your skin, and it just stays like that. Weird, right? So, it never happens because uh, due to elastin. So, elastin, I've told you this is a fibrous kind of protein. This is a fibrous means here is a rod shaped protein here and the elastin is having a slightly different structure. It is very much important in maintaining, maintaining the elasticity or the, it helps in the reverse, reversal of our skin, skin condition, if we pull the skin, right, something like that, or not actually pulling, but you know, all the time, let's say I'm, I'm talking to you, I'm speaking, so all the time, I, I'm moving my jaw up and down and all the time, muscles, uh, you know, skins are getting uh, very much pulled down all the time, right, we are watching something, we are closing our eye, opening our eyes, so all the time it is happening in all these processes. In many ways, not, not only intentionally pulling all the time, but it happens all the time during different activities of our body. And during those processes, elastin is doing its task to revert it back to the original form. And that's very, very important. Now, wh why, why, what is the structural part of the elastin? I've told you it's kind of fibrous, rod-shaped kind of protein. But the elastin is, it can stay in two different forms actually. It is kind of, uh, the proteins normally present in, in huge massacre form. They are kind of attached all the time. People don't actually understand how, how it is kind of formed. But once uh, it needs to be stretched, it aligns itself and maintain the tensile strength. That's the important part of our elastin. For example, elastin is made up with hydrophobic, hydrophobic amino acids. They are made up with hydrophobic amino acids and the examples of such amino acids are mostly it is made up with proline, which is a bulkier group. Uh, proline contains a bulkier R group. R group. So uh, proline, glycine, very small. Uh, it has only hydrogen as a R group. It also made up with alanine, valine and so on. These are the major types of amino acids that are making elastin protein. So, you know, all of these are hydrophobic amino acids in nature. Now, what is the function of hydrophobic amino acid there? Hydrophobic amino acids will start to form hydrophobic core inside. So, they will not allow point of water, you know, any, any, any simple part of the water on any water soluble molecule start to enter inside that hydrophobic core because they don't like water, they are, they are, they have a fear of water, that, that's why they are hydrophobic in nature. So what they are doing here is that they are containing, consisting of that hydrophobic core. If I draw the structure here, it will be much more clear for you. Let's say, let's say it will look something like this. These are the protein structures, so they are organized like this. So, this is the form when the, normally the elastin is present, for example. But not only they have this particular situation, but also they have a very interesting fact. Let me share with you. That is, they not only have hydrophobic amino acid, they also have some charged amino acid. Example of such is lysine. So, they have charged amino acid like lysine, which are having some connections with each other. So, those lysines are having connections with each other. Let's say this kind of connections all the time is going on. So as a result, this is the form of elastin that is present when you are at a relaxed state. So when you are at, let me write at relaxed 
state of the skin or the muscle or the tissue whatever now once you are getting stretched you know in any means if you are getting stretched in any means in that case those structure of elastin they start to organize suddenly and what they will start to do they will start to form something like this like this and again during this part those lysines are actually holding on to all these structures so you look something like this when it is at stretched condition so this is at stress that's the most important thing about elastin because you know in the relaxed state it is forming the hydrophobic core and all this but when it is stretched it start to align all those proteins and stretching but they are not stretching apart or falling apart due to the lysine linkages that is present inside and that's very very important for the lysine to link all those units of elastic uh, subunits together right so that is the function of elastin in our body in our cell now the thing another interesting thing about elastin is that elastin plays a vital role in you know as i've told you in the skin conditions and all these things now another very vital tip if you are a girl and watching the video it's a tip for you you probably heard elastin uh, to be mentioned in couple of cosmetic products out there that it is filled with elastin so it will help maintain your integrity all the time but the answer actually is uh, does they really work the answer in short answer is definitely no because all those products or cosmetic products that pretend to carry elastin they have suppose they have elastin for example let's assume they have elastin in that product but elastin you are applying it to your skin in your face elastin cannot pass through your skin because it is it is a long protein large protein it, it just cannot diffuse through your skin so it is not entering into your body and no way it is going to fix your skin right away elastin is found to be linked with aging why aging because you know in aging during the aging process what happens this 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 bonds this lysine linkages start to broke they start to uh, come up as a result what happens they remain scrambled and even up to stretch condition they don't come back to the relaxed form anymore due to the degradation of all those amino acids losing of all those amino acids and also dissociation of all those bonds that are present between so that always happens naturally with time mostly happens to female as well as male both these cases so that's why you see wrinkling in the skin and that's because of elastin that's because of collagen and many other proteins but elastin plays a important role also there right so that's kind of it about elastin guys and i hope that's helpful and be aware of all those products that you are seeing uh, do a little research to understand exactly how it will work and then go and buy so that's it if you like the video please subscribe and also watch all the other videos uh, about proteins for physiological convenience thank you